Uh huh. Hi, dear friends. This is Young Yosef, and today I will be reviewing sheets. So we've got the small drink because small in America actually means big. And then I've got these nacho cheeses. Several of them because I'm gonna be eating. A bit more than maybe what is deemed normal. I've got the cup of onion rings right here. Whoop. And let's see. The cup of fries. Ooh, that one's broken itself. Hmm. Not piping hot, but warm for how long it took to, for it to come. Then there's my steak and tater burrito, which I'll open shortly. And my boss burger, which seems a little smashed up, but I think it'll be it'll be okay. And that's all. Ah. So for those of you who are new to this channel, I am Young Yosef. Welcome to my first official mukbang video, which by the way. Mukbang is a Korean term that's gone global. It basically means eating room. Whoa. Okay. Ah. So, ah. Let's see. Ah. This is the boss burger. Uh, focus. Mmm. The smell is familiar. If you go to Sheets, I'm telling you, the Boss Burger is the way to go. Ah. Mmm. Yum. By the way guys, it's a bit late in the night and I'm wearing these under under uh underpants legging kind of stuff and I'm cozy and I'm comfy and I'm wearing the shirt that I got yesterday. Anyway, I'm talking about useless stuff. Let's get into the food. All right. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. This bad boy is missing the onion. Boss burger always has onions in it unless it's changed. Bread's really soft. There's got some of that mustard action going on in there. And the bacon. Bacon's key. If burger has bacon, it probably means it's, oh! Probably means it's gonna be some kind of quality. Dip that in the nacho. The nacho cheese sauce is actually hot. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I'm gonna take another juicy bite. Mm. Mm hmm. I've been eating this burger upside down. That's embarrassing. Also, if you're of age, of drinking age, uh, this is good hangover food. So, I've personally never really had a hangover. I don't get headaches from drinking, I don't really feel sleepy. I always sleep well and and I drink water and I stay hydrated but still you get the craving for something juicy and meaty sheets is a good food to get after a night out at drinking mmm this onion ring is very crispy so crispy and I'm not sure what the word is in English but it's kosohe 
which is Korean. It's not sweet, but it's got this fragrance. If any of you watching knows Korean and knows what koso means, kosohe in uh, English, please leave a comment and let me know. Because it's like avocados are kosohe, which is definitely a taste, but a lot of people say avocados don't have taste. And I'm starting to wonder if Americans have a word for this word in Korean, which describes uh, fried onions and um, avocados. Mm. So I'll appreciate it if you, if you let me know. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Check this out, guys. No, oh, it's so warm. Hmm. You see that? Hmm. Cool. I'm gonna get some tissues because my hands are getting really greasy. Also, it's not just that your body craves this kind of greasy fast food when you're post-drinking. It's actually good for you because this kind of food saturates up the poison. Because alcohol really is just poison. <laughs> poison that has uh, desirable effects. Mm. Mm. Now this is food. Mm. The crunch is real, guys. The thing is, sometimes when you get onion rings anywhere, they cook it so that when you bite into it, the whole onion comes out and you're just left with the skin. I don't like that. It's not clean, it's not efficient. But if you go to Sheets, They seem to break well. Let's see if <coughs> let's see if I prove them wrong right away. Mm. Almost, it almost came out, but it, was, it breaks pretty easily, which I appreciate. I do. Mm. So let's talk movies, guys. Has anyone watched Shape of Water? I heard that got a Oscar for Best Motion Picture, I think. I haven't watched it yet, but I can't wait, because if I'm not mistaken, it's the same director as Pan's Labyrinth. And Pan's Labyrinth as gory and shocking as it is for a fairy tale, it's a good movie. Mm. So I have no doubt Shape of Water is also going to be a pretty good movie. Let's try some fries. Hmm. It's not crisp. It tastes fine. I like it. But a lot of people like McDonald's fries more than Sheets fries because McDonald's fries, while they're smaller and maybe less in portion, depends on what kind of cup you get. I got medium. They're crispier. Sheets is a little soggy for whatever reason, which is unfortunate, but... Mm. Anyway. Sorry, I got distracted because... I get notifications on my device for comments that I'm getting on uh, my channel. And sometimes the comment comes down and then I, I'm curious so I, I just look. It's, it's bad. It distracts me. So I, I apologize. I'll try to give you my undivided attention. Basically what's going on is there's this guy, Mr. Orange. And seeing the type of videos he likes to watch, I doubt he'll watch this video. So 
I'll talk about him a little. Gossip, gossip, rumors, gossip. The thing is, he commented on my Mein Kampf book review, Mein Kampf, the book by Hitler, meaning my fight in German. And then he commented on my gun control uh, opinion video. And he seems a little bit confrontational, but um, apparently he doesn't believe the Holocaust uh, happened. If you go to my Hitler video, this Mein Kampf book review video, you'll see a lot of crazy comments. People who don't believe the Holocaust happened, and people who think uh, not fascism is the best way for society. And these are very kind of crazy, um, bizarre people. But this guy is, <laughs> this Mr. Orange doesn't believe in uh, the Holocaust as something that's happened in the past. So, that's the thing I'm dealing with right now. So I, I replied to his comment on my gun control video, because he just left a um, comment about... Uh, he just left a quote, actually. A quote of Abraham Lincoln talking about amendments. So I asked him what he meant by the quote, because he didn't give any opinion of his own. He just left a quote, and that could mean many different things. So I asked him to clarify. And then the comment came down, and I saw it was him, so I was like, okay. But then the comment said something like, do you know what's happening in uh, North Africa or something? Do you know what's happening in Zimbabwe? And it's already, like, I can tell he's not focused in on the conversation. He's just talking about something else, and he's probably going to say something else that's supposed to provoke me or something. I don't know. Some people just really want attention, or just don't know, I guess. Because <laughs> I come from Germany... I've gone to concentration camps, um, you know, it's, you gotta be a very specific type of demographic to actually believe that the Holocaust never happened, you know, like your dad's a white supremacist or something. Mm. And one thing I noticed about these people who are, maybe this isn't the best food topic, so I'll just stop after saying this one last thing, but a lot of the very racist people who comment on my videos that are controversial, they're all really hateful. They're either confrontational or hypercritical. And I just sense a lot of anger from their comments. I don't know what the dealio is. Hmm. So that gives you an idea too, like, why they're so full of hate if they think they're right, or if they really believe in what they think, you know? To me, as an outsider, it seems like they're just angry and they want a scapegoat, someone to vent their angers on. So it's unfortunate, it's just one more reason for the world to be a bit toxic. People being angry and focusing it on other people, groups of people. It's really messed up, actually. Mm. Look at that. Ample sauce. You gotta focus. Mm. And the cheese. Cheese is good. Oh. So anyway, Shape of Water, I'm looking forward to it. I missed it in theater, so maybe if I'm lucky I'll get to watch it on a big screen TV somewhere at one of my friend's homes if they buy the DVD. Hmm. Who knows? You know, a lot of people just, <clears throat> I've a lot of people I talked to recently just like the superhero films, and, or one person specifically maybe, but superhero films are good. I want that to be clear.
they're fun, they're adventurous. Um, they give you, give pretty much what the crowd wants, right? A hero who perseveres through it all kind of thing. The underdog becoming a hero and stuff like that. And I think the Marvel Cinematic Universe has a really good thing going, and they have a specific uh, formula for making movies that really make a lot of money. But when I think of good films, movies that I would be happy to watch over and over again because they're so meaningful and so rich, I'm not thinking about Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Like, I would watch them again because they're entertaining, but there doesn't seem to be too much more to it. It's like pretty easy to grasp. That's not to necessarily say they're shallow or anything, but I'm just saying when I think of really good movies, I don't think about Thor. I might think Dark Knight. Dark Knight was a good movie. But most superhero films, they're entertaining, but they aren't they don't, they don't necessarily necessarily uh, resonate with me. It's such a good mix, this crispy onion on this hamburger. I'll tell you what does resonate with me. Uh, among the movies. Birdman. That was a good movie. It's rated R, I think, but if you're old enough to watch it, watch it. Um... It really tells you a bit about acting too, just the world of actors and how actors are people. Not some transcendental perfect being. Actors are very much people. Another really good movie I like is uh, Whiplash. Whiplash is a movie everyone with like a strong passion should watch. Just that whole, how the main character has so much drive and how he's willing to give up so much, sacrifice so much to get to it. It's a, it's a lot about a movie about obsession too, how obsession can destroy a person. But I think it's a mix of a lot of good things in life, especially as someone who might be uh, going into that... Um, that world of adults, of dreams and legacy. I think Whiplash is a movie to watch. Especially if you're like into music or if you're in a band or an orchestra. Whiplash might be a good movie for you. If you haven't watched it already. <sighs> so, I just finished the Boss Burger. This, ooh, the light's a little bright. This here is the tater, uh, steak and tater uh, burrito. This one is another one of my personal favorites. Uh, I think I've only had both together at the same time once. Usually I'm fine with just eating one, but, you know, it's, it's a Monday. What better day to celebrate that on a Monday? Mm. Mm hmm. So, here's my beef, no pun intended, with this burrito. Is that sometimes there's this huge air pocket here, and you just don't get a lot of stuffing in, in the first, first one or two bites. It actually looks pretty stuffed in this angle, but it's pretty much air up here. It's kind of hard to see with this camera, maybe. But my bite just right now, mostly bread. And what's, what's with that? It makes the burrito look bigger than it is. 
But no, I, I like it. So you can see some of that tater. There's going to be more steak as I eat, I'm sure. That was a mouthful of onions. Ooh, I need some fries to wash that down. Hmm. Hmm. Believe it or not, nacho cheese here is still, still warm. Another good movie is uh, Budapest Hotel. Well, anything by the director Wes Anderson is a good movie. Oh, I just ran into a big dilemma. So, sometimes this happens where this has its own radius, but the onion's too big. No problem, you just crunch it a little lightly yeah see it breaks right there you just dip it in no problem sometimes life hands you big onion rings all you need to do is just give it a gentle crack mm. and take a gentle bite That's the steak I was looking for. <clears throat> As I was saying, anything by Wes Anderson, good movie. It's just a style, a style of character building. They're such unique, you know, like, very unique, but also my argument is that the characters in Wes Anderson's films aren't actually people. They just show heightened versions of people. Because if you see them walk, the way they talk, that's not how real people are. And it's so heightenedly obvious that these aren't how normal people act. But that heightened falseness of a person actually draws out certain characters that you don't really see in people. So certain characteristics. And I think that is one of Wes Anderson's uh, strong points in his films. Also just his angles and his, his the video edit. It's amazing. It's really good. Wes Anderson is probably easily in my top top three top three movie directors so if you haven't watched any of his films you should go do that oh how rude of me this is uh... dr pepper for those of you who watch an unholy amount of anime dr pepper is known as the drink of geniuses which i'm not but i'm still drinking out of it because because I respect those geniuses. I don't know. It's just I like Dr. Pepper, and it's always fun uh, thinking of animes like Tenpai Kyoshi or uh, uh, Steins Gate. Mm. Mm. Also, if you're still watching, I should definitely say this. Sometimes people who watch mukbangs a lot can develop uh, eating disorders because they try to eat like the people they watch and then they eat way more than they can handle. And they start eating irregularly, pretty severely and stuff. Apparently, that's what BBC News said at one point. So, if you're watching this for the first time, 
know that you need to eat responsibly. You don't eat to impress people. You eat because you enjoy it. And you don't go beyond what you can handle. Just like everything else. Don't be a dumb. Mmm. Mmm. This is not sponsored by Sheets. You just need to look at my subscriber count if you need proof. <laughs> Mr. Orange just commented again. He like leaves two comments. I leave two comments too though, but... Mr. Orange seems to be very passionate about several things. Hmm. I'm enjoying the steak part of this. You can see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's got a lot of cheese in it too. Which makes it extra gooey. Oh. Mmm. I think the fries were a bit of a mistake. Because they're they're actually really soggy. I don't remember them being this soggy. Huh. Oh well. No regrets, no regrets. What's another good movie? There's a couple of really good French movies that I've watched. And you don't need to know French because these movies are popular enough to have subtitles. Professional subtitles. English and Korean. So the one I absolutely love, and I think a lot of French people love this movie too. It's Amélie. That's with an A. I mean, sorry, that's French. It's with an A, M. E-L-I-E, -E. pretty sure that's how you spell it, Amélie, classic film, classic, it's like slice of life, but it's also spunky, it's kind of like Wes Anderson's film in that the characters aren't too much people, they're like quirky, they're almost unbelievable, but at the same time so relatable, and like they, they're just heightened aspects of characteristics in people. So, that's, that's another movie, I may be. And then, the other French movie that I really like and recommend is, uh, On to Jubile, which is just like, think unta untouchable, but with an S, and then instead of a U, it's an I, so it's On to Jubile. And I think in English, I think the title is actually The Untouchables. I'm not sure about that, I just watched it in French, but that too, I'm sure, has a English subtitle, and that one's really good too. Yeah, uh, that one's, mm, maybe I should be talking about what these movies are about. No, but then I might spoil something. I say go into movies, if you trust the person who's giving you movie recommendations, you should just go into the movie not knowing anything. Why spoil it for yourself? Why read reviews, you know? I think reviews just kind of throw people off. Like, I understand that you want to save time and not go to a movie you're going to hate. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of people are turned off to, uh, to good movies because they read a bad review. And in fact, if they had just watched the movie, they would have loved it. But instead, they read other people's opinions on it and then get misconstrued on what the movie is really about. So, personally, I hate reading movie reviews. Um, I like to just jump into it. I think that's just part of the price I have to pay if I'm gonna uh, find movies that 
maybe not popular to the public, but movies that would mean a lot to me eventually. Movies that I would love to watch over and over again. And I think that's not just an uh, intellectual college English major student thing to watch movies over and over again. Maybe to read books over and over again, that might be an English major college student intellectual highbrow thing to do, but watching movies over and over, excuse me, watching movies over and over I think is really just uh, a thing I did since I was really, oh man, I got the burps. Extra fizz. Can you see it? Okay. Um, I think watching movies, as I was saying, uh, watching movies over and over again is just what I've been doing since I was really young. I'm pretty sure I watched Finding Nemo more than 20 times as a kid. And uh, Fox and the Hound. I'm sure most of you guys are old enough to at least know about that movie. Hopefully I'm not getting too old that I'm mentioning cartoons that kids are like, what? What, Grandpa? Hmm. But Fox and the Hound, I probably watched like 30 times. Also, guys, check this out. Mm. There's the healthy mix of vegetables, and then the steak, and then the taters, and then some other tomato, I guess. Some people don't like tomato. I haven't always liked tomato, but the thing is, the more you eat, the more you realize you like stuff. Also, to get a little nerdy... Your tummy has microbes, and basically microbes are things that help you digest the food, and they eat the food too, so it's like they're helping you, and you're helping them by eating. But the scary thing is microbes reproduce like everything else, so when they reproduce, they only reproduce if the atmosphere in your tummy is what they like to eat. So, if you eat a lot of broccolis, you're going to have microbes that eat broccolis and less meat. So, eventually, they're going to reproduce so much, and they each send a signal to your brain, which is maybe the scary part, or maybe the awesome, cool part, or maybe a bit both, maybe a little creepy. Microbes actually send signals directly to your brain, and they tell you what to eat, and they kind of influence you to get certain kinds of food. So it's not just a habit thing, eating healthy or eating vegetables or being addicted to eating burgers. It's not just a habit thing, it's like you're internally changing and they're giving you more and more signals to eat blank. So that's something to be aware of. Habits just can't be changed because it's not only habits in the first place. The first thing you need to learn about anatomy and medicine is there's no one answer. It's not simply habit. It's not simply microbes. It's both. And a lot of other countless things. It's atmosphere. Science has no one answer. There's no one specific cure to things. There's only a multi-range of answers. And then a mul like even more wrong answers. <laughs> so that's, that's a bit of actual science for you. In case you're in, I don't know, middle school and you're learning that this is blank and this is blank and these this plus this equals this and it's like all set that's just them giving you a little structure so you don't get confused or so you're not in over your head it's not a condescending thing it's just science is a good it's a good way to learn science in a step-by-step -step basis and instead of dropping like molecular biology on kids who are trying to understand how tadpoles become frogs and stuff like that but I'm, I'm not a bio major this is like the extent of my knowledge uh, I'm slowing down guys mm. Ah, I keep spilling food. Come on, Joseph. I mean, Yosef. Joseph's not my name, what?
I know this video is getting pretty long, but a quick shout out to uh, Wyatt. He's a colleague of mine, but he's not even subscribed to my channel. He doesn't even know I have a channel, but he's well. He just learned today that I have a channel, and he was joking. He asked me to shout him out. So here's to Wyatt. You guys should go check out his channel. <laughs> he doesn't have a channel, so don't don't go wasting your time. Or at least, I don't think he does. Yes? I'm here. I'll be back. What? It's your boy. Uh huh. My sweet mate's messing with me. <laughs> if you could see, that's Brian. He's a... He's a freshman. He's a nice kid. No, just kidding. He's a sophomore. He acts like a freshman. Anyway. <laughs> He's a fine kid. Shut up, Brian! Why oh, he didn't respond. That could actually play Super Smash Bro like a god. Um, he he makes money on tournaments and stuff. He should have a YouTube channel. He's interesting. I'm just eating food. Also, guys, this is a disgrace, but I've got this much left. And I know I was complaining about the air <laughs> in the burrito and how they cheated me, but I think this is... This is where I'll stop and I'll have the rest of this tomorrow, microwave it. I know guys, it's, it's, a, it's a shame, I'm, I'm ashamed, but I think this is as much as I am going to be able to comfortably eat. And I wasn't too hungry, um, today I ate all three meals and I ate quite a bit of each three meals, so I think I'm going to oh, stop eating here. And in case you were wondering, which you probably weren't, but in case you were, uh, I did mention my favorite video, my favorite movie, and I think I'll save that for another video, because I want to talk about the, my favorite film in depth, and have maybe a script ready so I can, you know, I can have stuff to say without bumbling about. So... I got four cheeses, and they're all still warm, except for the one I had open. And I only ate out of one. So, I guess that's something else to consider, that these cheeses aren't... <laughs> aren't little portions. And this cup, too, like I said, you get small in America, it's probably going to be bigger than your face. Okay, not quite, but almost. Yeah, guys, I think this is where I'll end this video. It was fun. Thanks for joining me. Uh, yeah, hopefully you weren't just watching this video eating with me instead of with your parents. Uh, be nice to your mom and dad. They birthed you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This was Young Yosef. Don't forget to like. And yeah, guys, tell me if you like this video at all. Um, Leave a comment below and let me know because if you like this kind of thing, I can do more of this stuff. I'm eating all the time, so <laughs> it's not going to be hard for me to necessarily make this content. If it was boring as butt, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.